Time now to talk to my good friends that I've got to know very well. We had a bit of a laugh and we're talking off set here with the Champagne Showgirls. We've got Kimber and Champagne, or Champagne and Kimber. Welcome. Hi. Hi. How are you going? Nice to see you with your clothes on, can I say. <laughs> I sort of, when you walked in the door, I said, now, which one's which? But you do an amazing job. You're such great entertainers. We came down to Sexpo here in Perth when it opened. And, uh, you know, the whole group, because there's a lot more than the four that came on the couch. Mm -hmm. yes, How many yeah. people were in your group? I think all up there was about eight or nine. No, there was 11 in the 11. 11, 11 in the 11, show. Yes. Oh, you yeah. might have yeah. included me. <laughs> yeah. I was no, there. I got that wrong. I had to take the spare outfit. <laughs> Is it hard doing what you guys do day in, day out? Do you work every single day on this? Well, for me and Kimber, it's more the training of the girls and getting the girls together, which can be a bit of a nightmare. How hard is yeah. it? Because, you know, I can say now, there's some bitchy people out there. Yeah. Do, you, do you have to deal with personalities? Look, we do. We're pretty adaptable to most mm. situations, you know, so we'll deal with people in different ways and, and how they're going to come to the table and bring what they've got. I think the hardest thing for us is... Um, trying to get people to come. Yeah, and, and just, you know, Kimber's the nice one and yeah, then I'm the nasty the one and I've got to be the mean, bad so, cop, good cop. Yeah. You guys run the company. Yeah. Right? So how do you recruit people? I'm not being funny here. What do you look for in people when they come to you? Because, yeah, they might have a great body, mm. but they might not have a good person. What is well, it that you look for? Th that's the thing is that, you know, sometimes uh, a girl might look great, but she can't dance, or one girl can, you know, might not look the best, but she is an amazing dancer. You know, and it's just about personality. And yeah. Pretty much everyone can be taught how to dance, you know yeah. what I mean, to, within a certain, mm. you know. We believe so we can coach anyone yeah. into any situation, you know. And yeah. how often do you recruit new people? Um, quite often, actually, yeah. even just leading up to um, Sexpo, we taught a girl, one of the girls that were in the front group, our hip hop group. She got taught in two days. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. She did have prior dancing, though, so it was, you know, obviously why we um, got her. But yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. did you want to touch on Sexpo? Because I know we've got a bit of footage. We might just show a bit of footage from Sexpo, and you guys can talk over. Let's have a look. Now, this happened here at the launch in Perth. What are we watching here? So this is our hip hop group. These are our new showgirls. So the whole the whole dance off, they're all brand new showgirls that we've taught and trained. All our costumes and um, and who choreography. coordinates all that? The choreography. We both do. We do it collectively. Yeah. Yeah. So you run it as a professional business. So for those people out there thinking it's all take your clothes off and just walk around, it's not. Because no, I've I've actually no. seen it firsthand. I've actually applied, and I was thrown. <laughs> <up. laughs> no. Is there a lot of work? How long does it take a person to become a showgirl? Look, it, it really does depend on the girl, I yeah. say. But, um, you know, I think um, there's some girls that are just naturally mm. going to be, like, pick it up and just have the personality. And, you know, confidence is the biggest thing with anything that you do, stage really. stage presence, you yeah. know. There's a certain something... That, X factor yeah, that yeah. you know you've got to kind of have because yeah you might be beautiful but people might get bored of looking at you. Yeah, and yeah. I was saying to you off air that you know a lot of the girls are in relationships, they're proper relationships, normal, they're married. Oh, yeah. And do you get the respect that people should give you, or you just learn not to worry about it? It doesn't bother me. I've been dancing no. for almost eleven or twelve years now, and I've been in a relationship for eight years. So. What did you do before dancing? Can I ask? Uh, I was a spray painter. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could have told me earlier on. I've got a Mazda that these Yeah, I know. My dad taught me how to do cars and things. Really? Yeah. And yeah. what about you, Kim? Uh, well, no. I've worked in bars and cafes over the years. So you've been yeah. in, in, in service Different sorts industry. of jobs, yeah. So the industry that you're in, what do we call, like, do you call it entertainers? Is it striptease? What is it called? Entertainment, burlesque, cabaret, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So there's, yeah, like I said uh, last time, I yeah. think there's a big difference between just being a stripper and then a showgirl, you know? Yeah. Like, we've been flown around the country, uh, you know, over to New Zealand, or to all these different places. It's a proper, you know, there's no smuttiness in it, no, you I know? Agree. It's the way you do do and it. Do you know what I also noticed? That there's a sophistication about what you do, and I'm not being rude to other type of industries, but you're very sophisticated, you're very attractive, you've, you've got a brain. It's, it's, you can learn a lot from what you watch and what you're there for. I think um, you guys do a great job and I, I was really honoured to see your show fully when we went there. We missed Thank out you. a few hours later. Yeah. You, you did, uh, maybe we'll get you back on the show, maybe in that little spacey you might be able to do that acrobat thing. Well, with we, the yeah, we could put up something there and yeah. do it. A little, little apparatus. Yeah. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to ask you more about this documentary you guys are doing. When can we expect it? Because I know people, we were talking about it at Sex, but there is some sort of movie, TV show coming. Yeah, so it's a reality TV series. Um, 
Yeah, so you, it's in editing at the moment. Um, and we did do a bit of follow up mm. at Sexpo. So we had just one of our camera crew come over from the East Coast and just do some follow up stuff. But we're only halfway through the footage for, yeah. from the two weeks of filming. Is so. it like a reality show that yeah, shows so us exactly what you're doing? It's a reality do. show based around um, touring showgirls, you know. Uh, going teaching around West girls Australia, teaching and girls, doing choreography, yeah. different parts. I would love to see that on Foxtel as a weekly thing. <laughs> yeah. An hour a week. You know, like the renovation shows. It would be <laughs> yeah. awesome to see the entertainment <laughs> shows. What else are you guys working on? Where to from here? What else would you like some support with, either from the community? Would you like people to come and watch your shows? What are we doing with you guys? I mean, right now, obviously, we just had Sex Bow and we just finished our drama so we're we just we're actually, having a bit of downtime right well, now we're still in the process because we had a studio in Welshpool that's mm. now been getting moved to Balcatta so we're just in the process of getting Ooh, that five minutes from my house I can practice every oh, single night just get you on yeah. the, the yeah. aerial hoop yeah. so <laughs> are you guys <laughs> both from Perth hoops. you're both Perth ladies no. well we're not originally we, not we live, originally yeah. you live here now but we're yeah. based here yeah. yeah how good is that to have a company actually based here in Perth everything moves away from Perth and are you able to find that the fact that you live in WA and move your show internationally and nationally, is it easy for you to take the crew over? Well, look, I mean, we've been uh, friends and working together for 10 years and we've still corresponded mm, all through, around the country. Yeah. So it's really made no difference that we're not in the same state. So the fact that we're here now means we can work together. And there's a bigger, bigger like, um, here, there's a lot more girls in the industry, I find. Like, a lot more girls that, I feel like the East Coast kind of got, like... Do we, we do it better? Over here. We do. There is a lot of good girls there here, is, and it was is. always it's always been a state to be wary of in competitions. The WA showgirl yeah, scene has yeah. always been a um, you know something to look out for. Mm. Um, but Adelaide and Melbourne are quite showgirly as well. Mm. And, and do you think the crowd that comes to watch the, the customers? Do they need to be more well behaved? Do they need to respect more of your work? Because I know it doesn't take two minutes to do the piece that you do on stage. It takes, must take you hours. We're not prudes, though. We like people to have fun and have a laugh. But, you know, there's obviously good taste and bad taste. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you guys seem to enjoy what you do. Can I give out your website? Maybe if you'd like to give out your website. If people want more information, maybe if you want some sponsors as well. Yeah, Maybe cool. people can get involved and keep this WA company going. Yep. Yeah. So Where do we go? www.showgirltours.com. Um, yeah, and you can find us there. You can look us up on Instagram, Champagne Showgirls, uh, and yeah. Anything else you want to touch on before we move to our next guest?